Hi, today's problem is the figure below represents the stained nucleus from a chick epithelial cell of an individual whose genotype would probably be, and here is the five answers to choose from. And if you feel that you need the time, you may stop video here, think about each answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is a uh, epithelial cell, and this is nucleus, and here these two uh, dots is uh, two bar bodies. Uh, usually, there is only one bar body can be formed when the uh, normal genotype of the female would be XX, and normal uh, genotype of the male would be XY, but uh, in males bar body wouldn't be uh, formed because bar body is only formed in the females because females as you see here have two X uh, chromosomes and only one X chromosome is needed uh, for normal development so in females the second chromosome would be turned off or would be uh, or would form very dense formation and um, if you ask uh, which of the chromosome would be turned off whether it is maternal or paternal here is explanation and uh, imagine that uh, this is normal genotype of the male that is X Y chromosome and this is normal genotype of uh, female that is X X chromosome and when we build a Punnett square result of a such cross would be here uh, this is going to be X X and this is going to be female so one X chromosome would go from the mother side and this is would be uh, mother side so female and this is going to be a male side so as you see, uh, male, when donate uh, X chromosome, define uh, the sex of the progeny, and in 50%, of course, uh, he would donate his Y chromosome, and mother would give X chromosome. So this is going to be a male XY, and uh, here in the other cell we would have X and X chromosome and in the last cell we would have X and Y chromosome. So 50% of the progeny going to be uh, males and 50% going to be females. And as you see uh, mother can donate only X chromosome and all the uh, male progeny would have X chromosome uh, from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side and all uh, females would have one X chromosome from the mother side and one chromosome from the father side. So what does it mean that for example if we would take a few cells uh, at the earlier stage of the development of the embryo and each uh, cell would have two uh, X chromosomes, one from the mother side and one from the uh, father side. And uh, which one would be turned off? This is totally random process. And uh, in some cells, this would be uh, maternal uh, X chromosome. In other cells, this is going to be uh, paternal chromosomes and for example if we take uh, this cell and if uh, say paternal chromosome would form a bar body or would be turned off so during process of mitosis such cell would divide and all the following cells that would form from this uh, first cell would also have uh, uh, all paternal um, 
X chromosome would be turned off, but in other cells, uh, maternal chromosome can be turned off, for example, in this one. And when this cell would divide, this uh, cell uh, would have all the maternal X chromosome turned off, and uh, so all the females are uh, chimeric, they would have a, a body that would be, um, so this is a female, and if you look at female, some of her uh, body can be, can have uh, cells where X chromosome from the uh, father side would be turned on in some maternal X chromosome would be turned off on and uh, so uh, if uh, we would be able to see a female body we would find uh, that uh, females would be chimeric for the X chromosome and uh, usually in people we cannot see it uh, if of course we wouldn't be able to do um, genetic testing but in uh, some animals, for example, in cats, in some uh, uh, mice, for example, dogs or cows, we can see this pattern of the color distribution. When color is coded by allele that is present on the one of the X chromosomes. So, as you see, uh, a normal genotype uh, of the female would be XX and one uh, bar body would be present in any cell. Uh, for the male, uh, normal genotype would be XY, and bar body wouldn't be formed at all, because there is only one X chromosome per cell, and it cannot be turned off. And uh, when we have, for example, genotype that is uh, XXY, uh, phenotypically this is going to be male, so when Y chromosome is present, no matter how many X chromosomes, this phenotypically going to be male, but uh, one X chromosome, so one extra chromosome would be turned off, and this is also would be random process. Uh, this one or this one would be randomly uh, turned off, and uh, if this is going to be phenotypically male, we still would be able to find one bar body formed in each uh, nucleus of uh, each cell. Answer C, XYY, also uh, phenotypically would be male, but as long as there is only one X chromosome, uh, this X chromosome would be active in all the cells and wouldn't be turned off and wouldn't form bar body and the only one genotype present here that would form two bar bodies would be answer D and this might happen that uh, females and this is going to be phenotype of female those uh, one extra X uh, chromosome present but in this case uh, in order to keep the balance only one X chromosome would be active and once again this is going to be a random X chromosome but uh, two other chromosomes would be turned off and would form bar bodies. So the correct answer D. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments if you have any. Goodbye.